Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there is the emerging allegation on social media that the immediate former president Uhuru Kenyatta's security has been withdrawn. And uh, this allegation has also been shared by Robert Alai. And this is what Robert Alai is saying. Sources within the security structure have revealed to me that the security details of former president Uhuru Kenyatta has been withdrawn. The security details was withdrawn yesterday. No reason was given for the withdrawal. That is the allegation. Robert Alai also sharing. But again, someone else has shared, but though from the insider, an insider is the one sharing this information with Robert Alai. Up to now, no government sources has confirmed if it is true or if these allegations are false. But again, the other truth is that these allegations is coming at a time when William Samuel Ruto had also made uh, some pronouncement, and this is what he said eh, concerning the issue of taxes, because there was also claims that, according to Kenya Kwanza, that Uhuru Kenyatta is the one sponsoring Raila Amolo Dinga to make sure that uh, the radis are successful and uh, they are not paying taxes. <laughs> this is what he said. I want to quote William Ruto. Even if they sponsor demonstration so that they don't pay taxes, I want to promise them they will pay tax. There is no more exception. There is no more exception. That is William Samuel Ruto. But again, we are aware all these things are happening at a time when Uhuru Kenyatta together with the, his former cabinet, they made their way to the late uh, CS for Education, George Magoha. And uh, Uhuru Kenyatta was very clear that uh, those people who are making noise, they will continue making noise, and for them, they will not care. They will continue doing their work. And again, it was very clear that those people whom you see, they make more noise. While they are always poor when it comes to doing the work, the work itself. Someone who is good at mouth, you'll find out that they are doing nothing in terms of tangible job. That was Uhuru Kenyatta. And then, uh, some people are also, we want to look first of all on what the law says about a retired president before we go further into other issues. This is what the law says. The law allows former president to get government security protection for his family and property. A retired president is entitled to at least 30 officers and a home staff, including two personal assistants, four secretariat, four messengers, four drivers, and up to six security guards. So, an retired president is protected under the law to have that privilege. <laughs> so, William Ruto, if this allegation is true, we should know. Is he breaking that law or is he still protecting the constitution that I took an oath to protect? We want to know this. But this is a man who said that he's going to protect the constitution. He took an oath of office. But again, for these things as they are unfolding as of now, there, you know, there are allegations also Danson Omar made, which made Kimani Tunga to feel so much bad after a visit to Magoa. This is what Danson Omar said on KTF. It was NTV. Uhuru and Raila are two serious international figures and they control 80% of networks globally. Ruto is a local president and the likes of Ichungwa are only known up to Kikuyu constituency. <laughs> that is lawyer Danson Omar. Okay? Now, Kimani Chunga went further also to react and this is what Kimani Chunga said. Poor at least I'm known in Kikuyu by my people, unlike the fake media-based liar, only known along Koinange Street. 
So he is referring to Danson Omar, a lawyer with a reputation, a man you can trust when you when he picks your case. He is referring to him as a liar. Fake media based liar. Look at that kind of venom that Kimani Chunga is spewing. It tells you the anger. And you know, when Kimani Chunga gets angry, it tells you something. That what Dansan, what Dansan Omar is talking about could be true. And the truth be told, before Ruto became the president, he was really struggling to have that international connection. He did not have. Even Mseleh Mdabad had more international connection compared to William Ruto. That's the truth of the matter. And up now, Ruto is still struggling to have that kind of network. That's why he will keep on visiting country after country. Mdabadi has more of international connection compared to William Ruto. What about Raila Odinga, if that's the truth? What about Uhuru Kinata? They have more of this international connection. That means anything you attempt on Uhuru Kenyatta or Raila Molo Dinga, the international community will force you to make sure that this individual's security and welfare is well taken care of, no matter whatever drama you try. People have also reacted. <laughs> this is Samson uh, Tiraragay. After Uhuru Kenyatta's statement, this is what Samson Chirage said. Under the law, when you retire as president, you are given some government support, like vehicle security, money, and office. But the former president is still active in politics. He is not retiring, and therefore, the government should withdraw the government vehicle that he owns. This was after Uhuru Kenyatta made a, a statement at Magoha's home in reaction to what this Kenya Panther government has been doing, the allegation about uh, taxes and all those manner of things. So you can see, you put all this together, you only conclude one thing, panic. Real panic. Even if this allegation will be true, then the truth that Kenyans will conclude and know is that William Ruto is doing all this out of panic. How do you just withdraw the security of a retired president who handed power to you without any shenanigans? Freely. Without drama. With love. And smile. Despite the fact that he had another person whom he was fronting as a candidate. So that shows you that there is panic, there is anger, there is fear. Yani kwa kisaluna sema kwa mba ni kitendo cha uwoga. Now, Ndegwe Njiru is coming from Mount Kenya region. And I know some, many people have also reacted. Eh? But this, this is what Ndegwe Njiru is saying. Eh? He's an advocate of the high court. Eh? Now B, William Ruto, be careful the way you are dealing and handling President Uhuru. Our politics are more emotional based than issue based. In 2027, no one will praise you for the hustler fund. We will be guided by the manner in which you handle one of us. Uhuru is our son. That is the truth of the matter. The move by William Ruto, if it is true, to withdraw Uhuru Kenyatta's security, it means a curse for him politically. If indeed that is true, then what Ndegwanjiro is talking about, it will happen. It is very easy when you are being intimidated, despite the fact whether you did wrong or right, when you get intimidated by the leading regime, you easily gain sympathy gradually. Even those who do not like you, they will sympathize with your situation. So a president who served for two terms, he has retired and is enjoying his peace, 
is even helping Uhuru Kenyatta to run affairs within Africa, East Africa, to do with the peacekeeping. Then you go to that law. You know, Ruta is going so much law. If he did, this is true. So, we, Uhuru Kenyatta can easily gain that sympathy right from Mount Kenya region. How did Uhuru and uh, William Ruto gain power in 2013? How? How did they manage to win the support of Mount Kenya and Rift Valley? It was out of sympathy because these two were facing a serious case against humanity at ICC. They were supposed to be taken to heck. So because of that, some people from Mount Kenya felt that it is right to protect Uhuru Kenyatta rather than allowing him to go and face this kind of case. So protecting him means voting for him. Same thing with Rift Valley. So if this is the way William Ruto want to go, I think this is one of the worst position he's taking. He's going too much low. And all this can easily backfire on him going forward. I don't know what you think, but that's what I can say. So we'll wait and see if it will be confirmed that indeed Ruto has done this. And this is one of the biggest blunder he should have not think about. Because what Uhuru is enjoying is protected under the law.